Okay. All right. From Denmark, dear Billy Blue. Uh, thank you so much for all the great content you put up for free. I don't think you get enough credit. I get plenty of credit. Um, thank you, though. I was wondering if you heard about the pro- uh, the protests we have here in Denmark. You know what? I did hear that there was some protesting going on there. I didn't read about it. Somebody who I hang out with who's smart mentioned that there was. For nine days, the streets outside Parliament were flooded with people protesting a proposed law that would be able to define groups as being vaccinated are not vaccinated. Oh, wow, this is a gray area. People who refuse vaccination could be coerced through physical detainment by the police. This article is in English and explains in more detail, short enough to read on the podcast. Okay, let's look at it. Oh, my God. What is Denmark's proposed epidemic law? Why is it being criticized? This is not short enough to read on the podcast. All right. The new epidemic law would replace an emergency law passed in the spring, which gave the government extended powers to intervene in society in order to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, As well as enforcing quarantine measures, the existing law empowers the authorities prohibit access to public institutions, supermarkets and shop, public and private nursing homes and hospital, and also to impose restrictions on access to public transport. Recent instances in which the emergency law has been used by the government to implement rules include the partial lockdown of North Jutland and enhanced national restrictions, including... Okay, so they're basically... Part of this thing is they're going to force you to get a a uh, a vaccination which god knows what it does to you well here's the thing about that uh you kind of people back them into a corner by not doing the non-vaccinated route of just wearing a fucking mask and staying six feet apart people didn't do it so um i'm not saying that the government's innocent here and what they're trying to do but your fellow countrymen around the world have now put governments in a position to pull this off because you won't fucking do what they're telling you to do. Now evil cunts can come up with some shit. Let's give them, uh, you know, let's give them this vaccination that stops COVID and makes them kind of lethargic. (laughs) Anyways, he goes, I think it's important for countries to know that they can change with protest and that this is something that could make its way to their governments, lawmakers. In Europe, we tend to not like being put on lists because of what happened the last time people were told they were different. Sorry about my bad English. Your English is great. Thanks for F is for family. My whole family loves the show, even my grandfather. That's awesome. Um, Yeah, well, how does protest work in your country? In our country, if you protest, you get the living shit kicked out of you. Um, Throughout history, if you protest, you are risking getting killed. It's just how we... It's just, it's just a violent place over here. This place was taken violently. It's it's maintained violently. It's just a violent. We uh, it's. I just think it's just violent over here. I just it blows my mind when I go to other countries and the cops don't have guns. Uh, you know, and you watch a, a a guy has a knife and he's acting crazy, and then they just get those plastic partition things. And they just sort of fucking bum rush the guy and they get the knife that's every time i watch them like that guy would get shot a hundred times over here um i don't know just different philosophies (laughs) i don't know i don't know anything 